So if I've uh, found this conversation fascinating because in some ways it really does reflect a lot of conversations that I've heard around economic development is, and part of the challenge that we have is that when, when I have conversations about economic development with the Beta Spring group, it's going to be different than when I'm having them with the South Side group. And, and, and we're all saying economic development, but we're talking about different kinds of economic development. I would like to see us over the next four years uh, to get away from the whole, there's a silver bullet out there, to really talk about the fact that we need a diversified economy. And some of that is going to be retail stuff and the mom and pop shops that will maybe, a few of them might even grow and become national and everything. Or not, or they will some continue to serve their communities, and then others will be technology, and others will be in education, and other things like that. I'm I'm hoping out of the Secretary of State's office to help provide some clarity as to what is our business community here by being able to tag the data as it comes in and have a little bit more information about who's incorporating in Rhode Island and what what are the businesses that are here as a way to start mapping out because what what matters to a young technology startup is not going to matter is, is going to be different than even in our in our tax policies our investment policies our program policies are going to be different than what we'll need for somebody who's doing the retail economic development which is which is needed on main streets so and I, and I think we need to recognize that 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 one doesn't negate the other that we need to really tackle them sort of simultaneously and the challenge of that of course is the resources no, I, 